wish I could visit the moon some day. <laughs> Is that possible? Well, to know that, let's travel back in time and witness the story of the first moon landing. Zoom in! On a warm summer evening in 1969, millions of people around the world gathered around their televisions, holding their breath in anticipation. It was July 20th and something incredible was about to happen. A human was about to walk on the moon for the very first time. But the journey that made this historic leap possible wasn't an easy one. So to witness this historic feat, let's rewind the clock many years earlier when the relationship between the United States and Russia was a bit strained. Due to the Cold War, both nations were determined to prove their scientific superiority by conquering space. The Russians managed to take the lead by sending Yuri Gagarin into space on April 12, 1961. Though the Americans followed suit less than a month later, President John F. Kennedy wasn't truly satisfied. So he decided to set an ambitious goal to land an American astronaut on the moon and return them safely to Earth before the end of the 1960s. Thus, NASA's Apollo program was born, consisting of a series of missions to build the technology needed for a successful moon landing. After years of hard work, dedication and countless hours of problem solving, NASA built the Apollo 11 spacecraft, which consisted of three main parts. The command module called Columbia, to house the astronauts during most of the mission. The service module needed for propulsion and support systems. And the lunar module called Eagle, which would land on the moon. On July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. With three brave astronauts aboard, Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. The world watched in awe as the Saturn B rocket, the most powerful rocket ever built, propelled the spacecraft out of Earth's orbit. Once the rocket reached its final stage, the command and service module separated from the base, rotated 180 degrees and docked with the lunar module. The now combined parts then detached from the rest of the rocket and embarked on their approximately 250,000 mile journey to the moon. After a four day journey, Apollo 11 entered the moon's orbit. Collins remained in the command module, orbiting the moon, while Armstrong and Aldrin transferred to the lunar module and began their descent to the lunar surface. As they approached their landing site in the Sea of Tranquility, they encountered some technical difficulties and had to manually steer the spacecraft to a safe landing spot. Finally, on July 20th, 1969, the Eagle touched down on the moon. Neil Armstrong radioed back to Mission Control in Houston, Texas with the historic words, Houston! Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. A few hours later, the world held its breath as Armstrong descended the ladder of the lunar module and set foot on the moon's surface. As he took his first step, he famously declared, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Buzz Aldrin soon joined him and together they spent about two and a half hours exploring the moon, conducting experiments, collecting samples and proudly planting the American flag in the lunar soil, inspiring generations of people around the world. So my dear friends, take that small step and help humanity move forward. Trivia time! 
Did you know the Apollo 11 crew returned to Earth on July 24, 1969? Also, the last mission to the moon was in 1972 and humans haven't returned to the moon since. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Lily. Hope you had a great time today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, ready to go to the moon, little kitty? It lacks a firm atmosphere. Never mind. <laughs>